good evening everybody today i am going to tell about how to fuse ct mr in the radiation planning uh, either in varian or electa or monaco and aria so this is the uh, simplest procedure i am going to tell about how to do ct mr fusion for the radiation planning mostly in the uh, brain tumors and other uh, sites so so before Uh, going for the fusion, your CT MR uh, should be in the uh, same uh, sigma, uh, slice, same sequence. So, if, for planning MRI, you should know uh, you ask for a MRI brain contrast, double contrast for mats, T1, T2 flare, 3D FS figure sequence, no gap, no tilt, neutral neck, 1 mm slice, and a 5 1 2 matrix. So, and you have to ask for the FOB should include from the On vertex to the tip of the nose, till to the C two C two, including the tip of the nose to the uh, external occipital protuberance to proper fusion. Yeah, that, that is called a true axial. So there should be mostly you can go for the one mm slice and uh, full FOB. That is a true axial for the fusion. I will uh, um, tell you in the. Uh, uh, in the practical uh, demonstration so so you can see when you are going for the uh, um, Uh, when you are importing, uh, I am uh, AJ. I am uh, uh, doing the planning in the impo, uh, 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 in the um, electa system. So I am uh, very much acquainted with Monaco system. So you can go these these things. You have to imp, uh, you put the your uh, record number. You will get the various IMO, MR images and or if you want to uh, import from CD or um, 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 pen drive, you can click here browse. And you have to. Uh, they will. You will get an icon called uh, about accept. So always you have to accept. So this is the thing. How if you suppose you want to open this one, uh, like uh, you have to like add and uh, um, then uh, you have to uh, click it import. It will uh, get imported into your system. So this is the thing you have to do uh, after uh, loading with the CD or the DICOM system. You will get the important impo importing uh, important uh, impor, uh, important uh, uh, importing the important uh, sequences. So this is the thing. What you have to do? So before uh, doing the uh, uh, fusion in the CT scan, you have to do the. You have to do the contouring of the both eyeballs. So uh, here I I did the optic uh, uh, eye left and eye right. This is the eye. You have to contour the two uh, eyeballs. Then you have to contour the uh, basal artery. So this is called basal artery. Uh, so if this is basal artery. You contour the CT scan and uh, two basal arteries, two vertebral arteries. They combine together to base one basal artery. That is to contour. Then hypothalamic pituitary axis. So this is called hypothalamic pituitary axis. Anterior inside the uh, pituitary fossa. Uh, anterior uh, in between the type uh, two anterior um, uh, clinical process and posterior clinical process. There is uh, you can see the the green area is the hypothalamic pituitary axis. So this is the thing. What you have to uh, contour minimum contouring requirements are there. Apart from that. When there is a sinus, sometimes you sinuses you can also contour so that uh, it will be also helpful to the fusion. Or sometimes some calcification, some bony areas you can take as a extra contouring system to do the planning. Now, uh, now suppose you want to fuse in the contrast. 
uh, so uh, you right, uh, click on the right you will get as a load as a secondary so this you can maximize it so you can see this is the um, ct scan is your primary mr is the secondary so ct scan is the primary mr is the secondary so these things you have to do properly now how to fuse it then this is the thing uh, whether it is properly fused or not so you have to go for image fusion this is the icon called image fusion in the image fusion you have already uh, patient contour in your things so this is the fusion so after that in image fusion So in image fusion, you have to go for the, uh, uh, that is called image fusion, automatic image fusion, you have to control. So this is the uh, image fusion that is a matching index, you can see. See, it is called, so again, you see, this is, there is a image, it, it may automatically change. You can see this is image fusion process. So stop it now close it again see whether your image fusion is correct or not so suppose you you have to fuse with nose to nose nose tip to nose tip and uh, you have to contour the base you have contour the basal artery you can see see this is the basal artery you contoured in the ct scan now matching in the uh, mri same thing then contour in the uh, you go to the ct and uh, you uh, press l here if you press L here, that uh, I, I, I area also getting matched. You, uh, you can see here. So now both eyes are matching. Now you can see, then you can go to the coronal section, the sagittal section. This is the sagittal section. You can see. You, this is the can sagittal section. So you have to see whether eye to eye match sagittal section coronal section uh, everything should match properly so uh, uh, if there uh, if you want to do matching uh, this is this is uh, if you want to slide rotate you can rotate like this if you inside there is a translational moment you can see but uh, outside the circle it is your your um, uh, um, uh, you may rotational mo moment so this is the things you can do match manually or you can go for the volume of interest suppose you want to match area so this is the thing you can go match suppose you are going to go into the match properly so you part of the uh, things you want to match uh, the brain stem or something you are going to match uh, so this is you can select some part of the match Again, you start the infusion. So this is an automatic fusion. If you don't want interested, uh, if you uh, suppose you are not interested for the automatic fusion, you can fuse slightly rotation, slightly translational things you can do it. So see eye to eye match, slice to slice match, special artery matching, then hypothalamic pituitary axis matching. You can see here, so these things you can easily uh, do that. Whether it is going or not, you can uh, uh, see a uh, checkerboard, a uh, checkerboard, you can see, you can checkerboard, you can see here. So you can see the bone to bone matching, check, uh, you can uh, go for the sinus sinus matching, well, you can see here. How sinus sinus is so nicely sinus sinus matching in MRI. So nicely this sinus matchings, and this is the MRI matching. This is called a checkerboard crossing checking. You can see the checkerboard and see this basal artery matching, and this is the uh, sinus matching. This is the hypothalamic pituitary axis matching. 
uh, and i volt magic these are the various uh, clue points i have given so you can uh, check if you want to smaller checker boards also you can do this here bond to bond i to i special battery to special battery uh, so you have to first you have to go to the automatic fusion after that automatic fusion you have to go to if you go to the automatic fusion you see the the matching index is changing if it repeat it till it stabilizes it will not change again restart so it is not changing means that there is a good matching and this more the uh, less the value it is a more good matching so this now uh, uh, so slightly rotation done i because again i have to manually so see uh, so this thing is uh, there you can match properly this is called automatic fusion uh, you can now see here this is checkerboard okay so the, uh, this is the all about the ctmr fusion and you can uh, you can uh, do uh, for the any part of the body any part of the organ so this is called automatic fusion this is the part of the area if you want to fuse it into that is called uh, part of the fusion this is the checkerboard and vessel artery this is the um, sinuses uh, you have to contour you have to contour the eyeballs and proper fusion thank you very much